weak two bits. An open bid of two clubs shows an uber strong hand and 23 plus points. But what do opening bids of two diamonds, two hearts or two spades show? Most modern bridge players use these as preemptive bids. That means they're going to use them to show a six card suit with about six to nine points. Why do this? To be irritating. You may be small on the point front, but you can be high on the annoyance radar. Think of some irritating little puppy like Scrappy-Doo. The idea is that by jumping in with your two-level bid, you can take up a whole bunch of bidding space and make it more tricky for your opponents to find their contract, and you'll be amazed at how effective it can be. It's true, you might be left in the contract and you might go down, but it's still likely to get you a good score. The opponents might have made more if they'd actually found a contract. For example, they might have made 120 against the 50 or say 100 they'll get if they bring you down. So what are the best sort of hands of opening a week two with? You want to have a six card suit, you want to have between six and nine points, and you want those points to be in your long suit. You also don't want to have a four card major on the side. So this is a good hand for doing a preemptive bid. It's a weak hand with a lovely six card suit and the points are all in that six card suit. This hand with its shoddy trump suit and a four card suit on the side is not so good. There are a couple of other things to think about too. If you're vulnerable, you don't want to bid a week two with a really rubbish hand. The other thing to think about is where you are in the bidding. If you're the first person to bid, then there are three people around the table, and it's most likely the majority of the points are with the other two than with your partner, so that's a good time to make a preemptive bid. If it's gone past and then you're the second person to make a bid, then you're preempting two people, one of those is your partner, so in that position you want to have a better hand to make a preemptive week two bid. If it's gone pass, pass, and then it's up to you, then that's a great spot to be in. You want to preempt away because you're thinking that the last person on your left has got potentially a really big hand. So you want to make it as difficult for that person as you possibly can. An important point. When you make a week two preempt, you have actually described your hand very well to your partner. So you don't need to take matters into your own hand and come in and bid again. 